Jai Gurudev, the sacred verses of the Nam Ramayana reverberate through time, painting the exalted narrative of Sri Ram's divine journey from a princely shrine to an eternal beacon of righteousness. Each couplet traces a different facet of Rama's life as recounted in the epics. Here we unravel the essence of Nam Ramayana through a celebratory narrative. I take refuge in Sri Ram. Ram, the jewel of the Raghu dynasty, was enthroned in Ayodhya, adorned with the royal's insignia. His coronation was a grand spectacle of joy and festivity, where the nobles and citizens of Ayodhya rejoiced, showering their blessings upon their beloved prince. During his coronation, Rama's magnanimity shone brightly as he honored the assembly of kings and chieftains from various realms. This scattering of rulers paid homage to Ram's virtues, recognizing his rightful place as a sovereign of righteousness. In a gesture of unparalleled magnanimity, Ram bestowed upon Vibhishan, the noble brother of Ravana, the sacred idol of Sri Ranganatha. This act symbolized Rama's grace and his unwavering commitment to Dharma, transcending the enmities of the past. Ram's benevolence extended beyond his immediate realm as he blessed the Surya Vamsa, ensuring the dynasty's prosperity and well-being, his divine grace uplifted all beings, illuminating the path of righteousness. O Ram, Sri Ram, victory to you, King Ram. Rama's protection extended to all living beings. He safeguarded his people and every creature in his kingdom, embodying the essence of a true guardian who nurtures and preserves life with compassion and wisdom. Rama's presence was the axis around which the words revolved as he was the pillar of stability and harmony, upholding the cosmic order with his divine virtues and unwavering adherence to Dharma. Rama's glory attracted sages from across the lands who came to Ayodhya to offer their praises. His kingdom became a sanctuary for wisdom and spirituality where ascetics found solace and guidance in his righteous rule. In the sanctity of his palace, Rama listened, listened to the tales of Ravana, the ten-faced demon. Their stories underscored the triumph of good over evil, a testament to Rama's unyielding resolve to uphold dharma against all odds. The embrace of Sita brought peace and fulfillment to Rama. Their union was not just a bond of love but a cosmic harmony that represented the divine balance of masculine and feminine energies. Rama ruled his empire with unwavering adherence to moral principles. His governance ensured that his kingdom flourished in righteousness where every citizen lived in harmony and justice prevailed. Despite his profound love for Sita, Ram upheld his duty as a king above all personal feelings. His decision to send Sita to the forest was a heart-wrenching testament to his commitment to his people's welfare and the demands of his royal duty. Ram ensured the safety of his kingdom by commissioning the slaying of Lavanasur to his brother Shatrugna. This victory over evil highlighted Rama's resolve to protect his realm from all threats. After that, Rama was venerated even by Shambhuka. A figure who, despite his contentious end, recognized the greatness of Ram. This underscored Rama's reward status across the spectrum of beings. Rama's legacy lived on through his sons Lava and Kusha, who were nurtured in valor and virtue. His paternal love and guidance ensured they grew into embodiments of righteousness in a demonstration of royal authority and spiritual fulfillment. Rama undertook the Ashwamedha Yagna. This grand Vedic ritual symbolizes sovereignty and dedication to Dharma, reaffirming his place as a divine ruler. In the twilight of his earthly journey, Ram received this, the divine message from Kala, the embodiment of time. This revelation heralded his transition from the mortal realm to his eternal abode, where he resumed his divine form. In his departure, Ram bestowed liberation upon the people of Ayodhya, leading them to a state of spiritual emancipation. His presence brought not just worldly prosperity but also eternal peace. Rama's return to his divine essence illuminated the heavens. The gods, including Brahma, rejoice in the completion of Rama's divine mission, their faces shining with bliss and gratitude at the culmination of his earthly life. Ram transcended to his divine radiant form. This transformation marked his return to his supreme effulgent nature, glorifying his eternal divine presence. Rama's life was a testament to the establishment of dharma. His every action, every decision was aimed at upholding righteousness, setting a divine precedent for all of humanity. To the devoted Rama offers the highest boon of liberation. His grace is a beacon for all who surrender in devotion, guiding them towards ultimate spiritual enlightenment. Rama's guardianship extends to all beings, animate and inanimate. His protection 
is universal ensuring the harmony of the cosmos which is divine watch rama's divine influence dispels the afflictions of worldly attachments his grace acts as a shield protecting his devotees from the maladies of samsara leading them towards spiritual purity in this final ascent rama established himself at vaikuntha the supreme abode of vishnu here he continues to reign in eternal bliss embodying the ultimate state of divine harmony ram now resides in a state of perpetual bliss beyond the temporal realms his divine position is an eternal testament to his virtues offering solace to all who seek his refuge the name ram the nam ramayana concludes with a joyful proclamation of rama's victory and glory his life is narrated by don with divine virtues and heroic deeds continues to inspire and guide the hearts of his devotees towards the path of righteousness devotion and eternal bliss jai gurudev